So I've been editing a lot of videos today and I was looking through some old footage and realized that in my last Walt Disney World vlog I said I'm filming a very detailed Bay Lake Tower room tour and like resort tour and it will be up at the end of this vlog series and very on brand for me forgot to actually edit it and upload it and I thought let's have a little bit of that so without further ado here's that vlog hope you enjoy it let's roll the footage <laughs> If you are staying at Bay Lake Tower, you have two ways to access the monorail and the quick service area as well as all the shops. So you can either go down to the first floor and just walk in and take some elevators up or you can use this. This is on the fifth floor and this is the walkway. So this is the walkway to Bay Lake, which you can see is right there. On this side you do get really nice views of the lake. And then if you pop on over to this side, once you're done with the wall, you get a lovely view of Space Mountain and Cinderella's Castle above the monorail station. This is a great bridge to be able to watch the fireworks from as well. Also, the area that we just were in is a good place to watch the fireworks. During that time, the music is piped in over the sound system, so you can hear it in like perfect coordination with the fireworks. Bay Lake Tower is a horseshoe shape, so some of it is going to be facing the lake area, some is going to be facing the pool area, and some will be facing the theme park, just depending on where your room is and what exactly you purchased with your points. So I am on the 12th floor, which has remarkable views. Going up. Every floor's landing area for the elevator is identical, so I like to use the picture. Each picture on each floor is different, so that's a good way to make sure you are on your right floor in case you haven't really been paying attention, like I did on this trip, to what floor you are on. So as you can see, the monorail goes in there, and this is the view that you get on the 12th floor from this elevator landing area. And then here's another view. So we have the pool down there. Down there. That is the DVC only pool. You do need your magic band linked to your room to get in. And there is a private DVC beach on the other side of the pool, which I did visit in one of my vlogs. I'll leave that playlist down below. And then more of the lake view. And so this is a tour of room 8238. So on the map, by the way, if you weren't interested to see, this is where we are. And when you walk in, you are greeted to a small entryway. So that is the bathroom. It has a barnyard door, sliding door. And then this is an adjoining room. I'm not exactly sure if all studios are, but I know that in some hotels, it is cheaper point-wise to get two adjoining studios than to get a full one bedroom or a full two bedroom. So that may be the case for you and your family. Um, so just know that you do have an adjoining room option. I would assume whenever you make your reservation though, you would just let a cast member know. That is not my adjoining room though, so I'm putting my luggage laundry bag in front of it. And so you have all of this space if you need to put anything here. And then we can go into the bathroom. So you have this frosted glass that slides open. 
excuse my stuff this is my second to last day here and i wanted to wait to actually give the tour i actually unpacked my things to show how it actually functions as like if you're staying here longer than just a few days and don't want to keep everything in your suitcase overall i found that this place had great storage and at the end of this video i will be giving you my kind of final thoughts from my stay all right so you do have two hooks there i went to the pool yesterday so that is all still drying out Whenever you walk in, you do have the toilet, the commode, of course, and you have a shelf above. That is where mousekeeping is going to put your towels. Here we have the sink area. Now, admittedly, the sink is a little small as far as like space wise is on the actual countertop. Um, but as you can see, I am packed to show there is plenty of room. You have two shelves and then that opening back there that has my special makeup bag all of this can be filled out. You do have this mirror that has great lighting actually. And speaking of lighting, let's turn everything off first. So you have three switches here, which I really do like. You can have the one above the toilet with the vent that is motion censored. You can have this one, which is above the shower, which I've been using as a nightlight. And then you have this one that is for the sink area. And if you have all three on, it is really, really great lighting. Below the sink is more storage. So you have your hair dryer and some extra toiletries there, some extra paper products. And you do have a plug here if you would like. None of the plugs, this room has tons of plugs, but none of the plugs are USB plugs. Your shower curtain is on a curved shower rod, so it gives the illusion of a little more space in your shower. And the curtain has outlines of Mickey all over it. And this is just, just your basic shower tub combo. I really do like the light up above. It provides great light while you're actually in the shower. And we have this tile mosaic running down. And I do have to say this shower has great water pressure. So you have a little hallway and something that is different with Bay Lake Tower that I have not seen in any other studios I've stayed in. You have your own little like room as a kitchenette, which is really great. In this, you do have a sink. There is no dishwasher in a studio, no washer and dryer either, just to let you know the one bedrooms on up do have those. They do come though, I've been washing some dishes. They do come with some dish soap as well as a sponge. Towel, which I have not used because it's so cute. I can't bring myself to use it. They put it in the shape of a bow. Underneath here, oh, there's an extra trash can. See, I hadn't even noticed it. So you have your fire extinguisher down there, some extra dish soap, as well as an extra trash can. Mug is not included. I did purchase the mug, but you have a coffee pot. And then in here you have, I've used all of the actual non decaf Joffreys because there is no point to decaf coffee. I had two packs of coffee whenever I got here. And since I ran out of, I've just been using what they have at the Contempo Cafe because this is a studio. You are going to get plastic silverware, but you do get a can opener, bottle openers, a coffee mate, and various forms of sugar for you. And you get an extra towel. And these are just empty, except for more paper towels. Up here, you do have more storage, as well as some plates, cups, and mugs. There were more I just used them through my stay. Even more storage here. I put my snacks there. Full-size microwave and a full-size toaster. And you have a fridge freezer combo. I have a cupcake for later. So you have a tiny freezer up there and then your mini fridge. This is like a spice rack. Although I guess you could put snacks if you wanted, if you didn't want to put them out on display like I did. You do have a full size mirror and another little station here with some more storage right there. Been using it, like I said, as a little landing station. So my backpack, have some extra sunscreen, things like that. Um, that all falls here. They do provide you with a sign of the enhanced cleaning right now. And you have this, this is just stone tile to add a little atmosphere. Directly across from the kitchenette area is going to be your one and only closet. It's a relatively wow. large closet. So there is a huge safe in there. 
You have extra pillows and blankets. I put my carry-on and my personal item in here as well as my shoes. I could have if I wanted fit my actual like big check-in luggage suitcase, but then I would have needed to move it whenever I wanted to get to the ironing board and I didn't feel like that. So that is why it is in front of the door. Your control switches for the air and heater, if you're here whenever it's cool. And this is the bed. I didn't make it that tidy, so please excuse that. And the blanket is from home, so you don't get additional blankets. That is something that I do notice about Disney rooms in general. Thankfully, the air works really, really well. And so I'm chilly a lot of times at night, so I do bring a blanket. The art piece above the bed is Mickey, and you have two lamps there with control switches on the actual lamps. On each side of the bed, you have these side tables and the plug is underneath. So once again, that's just an electrical outlet, not a USB. So if you are coming, you're going to need to bring your actual, see, like I have there, your actual plug. And if you are coming from international, you are going to have to bring your adapters. This artwork is above the pullout sofa. I have not pulled this sofa out because it is just me staying here this trip, but I have been taking naps, or not naps, I have been lying down, let me say, whenever it gets really warm outside, so I come back and rest in the room. I am 5'7", and I have been able to lie down on this sofa very comfortably. But it does pull out into a full-size bed, and in the closet, that is where your extra linens are. Here, you do have your ottoman. The ottoman does roll around, so you can put it to wherever you would like. Spinning over to this side, so you can see what that hallway looks like towards the door. You do have your entertainment system. So you have your TV there. I have, not that I've been looking in to other places, but when people leave their windows open, specifically at night when you're walking back, you can see the TVs. In other types of rooms, they don't have a TV like this. It's a larger TV. I guess it's just wherever you're staying. But they do have the plugs that you can plug in, a system if you've brought it, and then they do have this as well. They have a DVD CD player and those plugs, I guess, if you wanted to bring a gaming system or whatnot. Here's another area of tons of storage. I've actually been using as my storage. And so tons of areas. I put my pajamas and my swimsuit, some lounge clothes, uh, medicine, masks, things like that. That has definitely come in handy to have this. You have another trash can in this room and you have this table area. I don't think moves around. I have not tried it though, but the chairs of course do. You have a good size mirror here and another lamp. Here's what the curtains look like, by the way, in case you were wondering. I know some people care about things like that. I think they're beautiful. And whenever they close, it's actually the full length of the wall that they close. So something about this room before I show you the view. When I booked this room, I just booked a regular standard view. That is typically what I will book because it's less points. Now, I don't know if this is considered a typical standard view or if somehow it got upgraded to another view. But when I thought standard view, I thought like maybe like parking lot or something like that. And it's not, this is a breathtaking view. Like this is just part of the view. Um, at this room specifically, you get to see the contemporary and this is a big window that is also your door to the outside. This is a very large balcony. So you have two chairs and a table and that window. So you do have view of the contemporary and a little bit of the Grand Floridian. And you can, as you can see, you can watch the monorail till your heart's content. This is the contemporary, I know you already see that view, this is the contemporary little pool area. I don't want to say little, it's a large pool area. And you have a beach there and one over there that you do have access to while you're staying here. And I got this view with my room and just, oh, it's, it's beautiful. I love this view. So way over there, you can see Epcot. You can also see Disney Springs over there. You can see the Swan and Dolphin and the Wilderness Lodge from here. And way far in the distance from this room, you can see Mount Everest. I am blown away by the view 
that this room has. The Lake Tower is technically part of the contemporary. You use the same exact bus system. So if you do want to catch the bus, you'll have to go down to the first floor, walk through the contemporary or use the sidewalk in order to get the buses. I'm going down to refill my resort mug. So I thought I'd take you with me so that you can see exactly where to go for that. So that is going to be on the fifth floor. Everything is on the fifth floor, that bridge to get to the monorail as well as the Contempo Cafe, your different stores that you need to shop at, and your like Chef Mickey, etc. if you would like to do that. Fifth floor. Going up. In addition to standing here on the bridge or in that open viewing station to see the fireworks, I have noticed that people go upstairs and stay on both sides to view the fireworks, so that's always an option if you would like. The Fantasia Market over there has various food items. Admittedly, not as many food items as other DVC places do, but a fair good amount. It also has like sundries and toilet trees and things like that that you may have forgotten. Fantasia is mostly a kids shop like for like plush and toys and shirts for kids things like that and this is BVG which would have more on the adult side of things adult clothing it has a little small bakery inside this is where you would get like coffee and things if you would need it And you get to see the amazing Mary Blair murals. This is how you would get to the monorail and get through security to get up there. And your escalators and elevators to go downstairs are here. There's also a seating area if you want to just come and relax up here while eating your food. You can bring your food to here and eat. That also has a lake. The outer rim is a lounge. Chef Mickey is character dining. And it's really quiet right now because this is like the time that they're not doing. It starts back at 5 p.m. And Contempo Cafe is the quick servant. Another mural. And this is of course shared contemporary and Bay Lake share the same quick service. So there is ample amount of seating. And this is where you fill your resort mug. so let's talk about what I think about this resort now that I've been staying here for about a week. This is not my first time staying at Bay Lake Tower, by the way. I think this is my third time. The other two times I was staying in a one bedroom though, not a studio. Let's talk about the negatives before we talk about the positives so that we can end on a positive note. The first negative is the elevator system. There are two elevator systems that you can take depending on what wing you are going to be staying in. I uh, have Thankfully, I'm very fortunate that my wing is the one that is closest to the walk over to the contemporary. However, most of the time, the elevators are very slow because there's so many people. Those elevators service the entire tower. And so, especially at night after the parks close, you may be waiting a good while to get to your floor and get to your room. In the past, I've waited about five to 10 minutes on very busy nights. So just do wanna give you a heads up about that. There's another thing that I'm kind of like, eh, okay. It is convenient to get to the contemporary, but I wish, this, so this is more of a wish than like a real negativity. I wish that Bay Lake had its own quick service or at least, and not a, if not a full quick service, it would have its own like mug refill station and own little small store that you could get like breakfast and things like that. I think that that would be really beneficial. Once again, specifically very late at night or very early in the morning, it is a small bit of a pain to walk into the contemporary. But other than that, those are the only two things that I've had an issue with. And they're not even really like huge issues or like huge negatives. It's just me being tired and a little lazy. So those were really my only two issues. 
As far as the actual stay, this has been a lovely hotel room. I love its location and its view. I love staying so close to the Magic Kingdom. I've just been walking back and forth using the walkway to the Magic Kingdom that the contemporary Bay Lake Tower has. That has been super convenient and I find that it has a good amount of space in the room. I know with seeing other reviews that people have complained that this was a small room. I don't think it is. I don't know what other rooms they've been staying in, what other studio rooms, because these are like good sized rooms. As one person, obviously, um, I've been very comfortable, but I definitely think three adults, four adults, you know, if like your family or very close friends would be very comfortable in this room. And this room has been extremely quiet. I'm assuming I have neighbors on all sides of me. I haven't heard anybody at all. Um, the only thing that I've really been hearing is like plumbing every so often you can hear like toilets flushing or like the pipes being turned on but other than that the only noise I've been hearing since I've been here has been at the pool whenever they do the big like sound system every so often during the like midday they'll do music for the kids I guess for anybody but it's specifically kids type music and they play games and like trivia and do trivia and things like that. And I can hear that echoed off, but I can hear that echoed off from the pool only because it's a giant sound system. Other than that, it sounds like I am the only person on this whole floor. And that is truly amazing. It has truly been a nice and relaxing and restful room. Let me know in the comments down below if you've stayed at Bay Lake Tower before and what you thought about it. And let me know in the comments down below if you have a trip planned. I would love to hear all about it and to give you any information that you may want to know. By the way, if you do want to watch my playlist of my Disney vlog where I stayed at this hotel, it will be linked down below and you can check it out. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed this Bay Lake Tower studio hotel tour and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye!